Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and E3 is finally over, so it's time to get back into my normal recording schedules. So today we're going to be playing a little bit more of Overhead, and Overhead has some new events that just came out. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So, maintenance for the 6th of the 13th, well the 13th of the 6th. So we got two new characters I'm going to take a look at. We also have some random package for the wells. Yeah, a whole bunch of packages for the wells. Gotcha up for... For double SRs and for the water types. The Esta dungeon is here, so they just recently replaced that water dungeon that we had started out with. So this dungeon will be up for two weeks. New events for login, quizzes... Surveys and as the gotcha. Okay. A new box gotcha event. Weird. Also, growth cost has been discounted for water units. Interesting. New grimoire equipment under craft. And then there's two new heroes added to the book. So I'm guessing it's here. Yeah, I still need two more for that. Wish I would have got a last of it. But yeah, I'm almost done with the Esta event. I think I need two more. Oh no, one more to get her uh, outfit three. So I have her outfit two. But first things first. I want to go summon. Look at all those precious jewels we saved up. It is time to let loose on an actual banner now, thankfully. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care too much about working on water units, but I do want to see what's all in here so we can actually be able to see what's up. And we should have enough for our ancient gacha too. All right, for water, okay, still basically like 2%. But you just have a bigger chance of getting water units. As for double SR up, still basically just still the same thing. Well, let's get started. See what we get. Some double SRs. I haven't got this character yet. Nothing in there. Ah, finally, this is a character I've been wanting. Because people tell me that he's really good for uh, Fafnir. Oh, okay, we got a SR. There was a way to speed all this up, to be honest. Okay, we got Rito. To be honest, a lot of people are giving this character down votes just because it's apparently a trap. So, yeah, Rito's a guy. To be honest, you can tell by the name. But, yeah, people are giving the down votes just because of that, which is kind of a dumb reason. A really dumb reason, to be honest. The character doesn't even look right anyway in 3D. <laughs> okay, SRs. I've actually been trying to finish this character out. And there's the reason I'm not really summoning on a water banner is just because I have so many characters that I need for other elements too. Oh, I actually needed you. I needed one more. So we can check out the water banner and see what's up. Oh yeah, I do have this, don't I? Oh, it seems like we have enough for two ancients. 
Yeah, I definitely haven't done the uh, five star one. I think I can, to be honest, right now. But first things first, uh, where is my best tank? <laughs> Apparently, the best tank in the game. Got a whole bunch of news. So I wanted to see why people said he was the best for Fafnir. Right, incoming damage. Self crit. Okay, so he's pretty much like a mad dog in a way. Oh, additional damage on... Oh, crit increase. Okay, I can see why people are saying that. Because you go into this, then into this, and deal like a shit ton of damage. Okay. So you want to max out this first before you max out this, because this doesn't really matter too much as much as this does. So I can see why he could be used more... more Like, more useful as a DPS in that. Where is he? There he is. So we're pretty much almost having him fully done. Thank God you showed up because I didn't want to use that uh, free enhance. This is finally done. Now we have all this to get through. Then we don't have to worry about him anymore afterwards. Except for his gear, and that's pretty much it. Nice. Also, my ash is now plus uh, two. I still need to get these up. How many of these do I even have? Oh, still eight. Hmm. Alright, so what else is going on here? I guess I'll use it on Young. Right after I'm done with my last two summons, I guess. That'd be a lot smarter. I guess we'll use our last two summons on the water. I guess, why not? Huh, what's that water unit over there? Oh, that's the other one. Okay, we got both of the two new units. To be honest, personally, I didn't think these characters like were really good, but they definitely looked pretty decent. If there are more than three water units, increase all attack and increase all 15, well, increase all attack by 15%, and increase block for all allies by 5%. Raise barriers and also increase defense. Mm -hmm. All right, attacks up to three units, and reduce damage from four enemies. So also a debuffer. And her passive is reduced damage from fire units. But when a skill is activated, she heals up to two units for every few seconds. So she pretty much gives a regen for 40 seconds. Dude, that's not that bad, to be honest. Okay, I also do want to go look at their skills. But since I already have her now, 
kind of want to go back to the normal banner. Just to see what else we can get our hands on. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> nice. Alright, that summon went pretty well. I've been waiting on another banner, so that's pretty nice. That was actually worth it. Now that I actually looked at the skills, they're actually pretty pretty much kind of nice. Because it's more like defensive, especially if you need like a defensive water unit. Because I don't really have a tanky, like a tank oriented like character. All right, please give me something good. What is it? Something I need. Something I already have right now, please. Oh, it's a wind. Okay, it's you again. Nice. To be honest, I'll take that. Another wind tank. Okay, so Greg. I heard he's not as good as his uh, young form, though. Feels bad, mate. Feels real bad. Base is saying you're getting old, man. <laughs> That was pretty interesting. Everybody's over here with the URs, man. I think so many people have plus five UR. Freaking insane. What if this has been reset? Take it down? Okay. They need to take that off for people who've already summoned on it. Okay. So let's go ahead and head over to the guide. If I remember correctly, one of them is over here. Yeah, there she is. I don't know why you would get tit out of this now. That's kind of really backwards. Anywho, already read her skills. Let's go ahead and look at how they look. Now, I think I remember where Rito is. No walls, Hank. Crit attack. First skill with the shield and the defense. Second skill. All right, decreases damage dealt. It's up to four enemies. Not a huge fan of the uh, design for the third one. Well, actually, I kind of like it. It's just, it's just the music that's what is weird. Okay, if I remember correctly, you should be a part of the kingdom, right? No, not part of kingdom. No, it's not part of the demons. It's one of these that's over here. It wouldn't be elves, right? Yeah, I figured. There you are. Okay. So attack and defense boost for water units. Not how bad of a leader, to be honest. But if you're more of an HP guy, then I will go for that. Alright, deals damage to three enemies. Additional damage to enemies who are physical types. Not too bad. 
deals damage to four enemies, inflicts shock on enemies afflicted with chill, and they're pretty much stunned for 18 seconds. Shock disables regular attacks and active abilities. And as for the passive, when the skill is activated, decrease damage from allies. I guess damage received? But additionally, add damage equal to for all attacks. I'm still trying to get the basics down of like how the game's gonna basically talk about this stuff. But that damage down thing kind of definitely confused me. Well, reduce damage. So I'm guessing it's reducing the incoming damage. And the crit. First skill. And the second skill. And that's pretty much it. That voice definitely does not fit him. <laughs> I'm just saying. But apparently there's a link too. Oh, just be quick. Between uh, Gawk and Elizabeth. So if you guys are curious to have link ups work, is basically have those characters in those in the party. Like me, I normally carry like whoops. I normally carry Ash and Mad Dog for their ability here. That causes like poison damage. So yeah, that's pretty nice. But yeah, they pretty much have to be in your party. <laughs> Gotta put you in. Now I have a wind tank that I can start working on. I, I'm really trying to make a mono team right now. So I'm guessing... To be honest, there's not many good water units now that I actually sit here and look at it. It's definitely not many good ones for SRs. Uh, why you can't sort them by element? Um, devs, you're you're missing one for like sorting. Sort by elements. Just letting you guys know if you guys ever watch my videos. That one's very important. All right, so it's a little bit of a discount. You no, know, it's not a hill, but it's definitely something. And I have a whole bunch of water, like, stuff. Like, it's insane of how much I have. So I guess we would want to increase this first. Does this change any once we get up here? 
not too much. Oh no, hold up. Yeah, it changes from. Oh, it changes to five. This also changes to five when you get the barriers done. So she's going to be pretty damn good towards blocking and doing damage to all. So where? So I have to get to level 3 in order to attack all. Right now this won't even do as much as a Necroid would block. So if I was to get to level 5, you would be the same block as Necroid. But other than that, I would probably want to go with this first. If I had, like truly had like a say in it. Okay, we'll get you start saving up from there. Upgrading wise, yeah, I have a whole bunch of these. I'm not gonna start working on retail just yet until I get some more copies. Unless I have, most of the time, if I have like plus one at least, then I would work on it. But other than just having a base unit, it really doesn't help you out at all. You need to be next. Thank you. I don't think about it. I am pretty far ahead. But, okay. Yeah. We're stopping there. But yeah, this is my highest SR right now. People have said he's not as good a Tizzy, but eh, I gotta work with what I got, man. I don't think he's gonna get a buff anytime soon. Just because I've noticed he is pretty lacking too compared to Tizzy. But if he's all the way up here, he'll be decent towards like effect wise and sustain versus TZ but other than that he's not as damaging as her for sure so I'd have to have like more than 12 I think so I can't use that on him but yeah, like I said, man, I gotta use what I got. It's funny because base TZ does more damage, though. But I want the blind and his and Ash's, like, combo. Just because right after I use that skill, I can go straight into Ash's first skill for the extra damage. And that's pretty much above TZ's combined. But yeah, a whole bunch of stuff, man. Rolling in, finally. Uh, one thing I do hate is actually never mind. Oh, I was thinking of a different game when that with that. I could just throw these over. That could also be used for Tizzy, actually. Well, not Tizzy. Um, Rito. I think this gear will probably be better on retail. I just gotta get copies. Wait, did I push on cap? Yeah, I'm not trying to cap increase right now. 
we're also going to be waiting on the other raids for like all these special gears and stuff. Because we don't have winds or light raids right now. Oh, that's it. Whoops. But yeah, this is pretty much like day 15 for me. Yeah, I've been logging in every single day. At least I probably missed a day, to be honest. Who knows? Pretty sure I didn't miss a day. That's done. Whoops, I pushed that again. This. How much further do I have? I need to make her a. Wait, did I push that again? Yeah, David. Gear, thank you. That's what I'm trying to go to. Me and my special self. Oh, dear God, that is a lot. HP increase. And then I gotta go into her abilities and stuff. How much do I have? Quite a bit. Alright, when it comes to this, I would probably want skill cooldown, right? What is her chance of actually landing this? 100%. So effect wise, I'm pretty sure that's affected resist like. I don't know, that's success rate. Weird. So the ones are stuff. I think one of our stuff has a chance of failing. Oh yeah, enemies do have resist too. When they increase, so that's probably what they're talking about. Oh, these are half off too? Well, not half off, but somewhat decreased. Dude, freaking nice. This is the best day to actually try and do this stuff, guys. So, get to it. I say I don't have any healing, but I would need the, um, her grimoire for sure. Much farther. Okay, I want to see if I can get all these good arm reductions. I'm gonna summon like hell on this on these banners. I have much more to go through. I'm gonna try and get this character done. So water banner it will be. Well either water banner or that. But I just wanted to see like how much I can get for the other units. All right, nice, 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 nice. Necroid is pretty much up there. Do need to finish that though. Oh yeah, we also need to start on your abilities too. But this is what I meant about, like, the shield. Right now, her shield isn't as good as 
Necroids. But it could be 10 times better though. Especially with a defense increase. And considering that it can go to all. I will probably be working extremely hard to finish this character above all right now. Just because that, ooh. Just pretty much being able to like put up a shield and barrier. Or pretty much a barrier and, you know, reduce all that damage is going to be fantastic. I wonder how everybody else feels about her. She did. Okay, stop. <laughs> you guys are weird. <laughs> but yeah, she's a really good support. This is our community now. <laughs> I have to be honest, I knew reviews are going to be flooded with this because this is always our community. We got to deal with it, man. So also, once I'm done with this event, I should have another copy of Esther. And Esther's pretty good, to be honest. Takes damage to one unit. Pretty good damage dealer. Now, I'm pretty sure I got... Yeah, her... Yeah, this is the skin. This is the skin color I wanted. Look way better than the third one that you get. But I need to go do that also. Why taking uh, our new character out for a spin, though? Let's see. A bit. But we also have these two, these quizzes and stuff. Alright, so fire units are we can get water. Oh, you get rewards for everything you complete. Tank. Assault. And support. Assassin of Doom. <laughs> Position, I would say 15, right? Yeah, I figured... That'd be two. Yep, that's true. As the material is used to her abilities. Raising a character's level cap requires identical heroes. Catalyst, raise your skills. No. Yep. Untamed. There we go. Easy. That's pretty much knowledge you get when you're playing, to be honest. Nothing like too serious through like the quests and stuff like that. This is a balance survey. Okay, which unit can get approved? Um, I have no idea, to be honest, because I don't really use these units. Only unit I know on here is Bloom. Oh, actually, this character I do know is she's the martial arts one. Uh, I would say Bloom is already pretty good, to be honest. I'm just gonna go to there. Sure, why not? Which water units can get improved? To be honest. Luna's alright. This guy needs improvement, to be honest. Like, he's decent, but he's not, like, overall. Oh, this one definitely needs improvement. Like, hands down, from what I've seen, she's so terrible. Nobody uses her 
at all. So I'm gonna try and help out that. Oh, <laughs> this is long overdue. Out of all these three characters, the first one definitely needs help. Like TZ just outshines him so freaking hard. It's, it's kind of insane. Like he can end up doing like 7,000 damage and TZ can just do freaking Was it, um, yeah, 12,000 to 13,000 just by being base with gear, and that's pretty much it. Why he would have gear be plus two, and he would still do less damage than her. It it wouldn't even matter if he crit. If he crit, he'll, he would just do like 10,000 damage at least, catching like the clip of the heel of Tizzy. So, yeah, we definitely need help. Jasper's alright. Jack needs help. Which type should be updated? Um, wind units are alright. Fire units are alright. Light units are kind of lacking. In a way. Just from what I see, that, that's pretty much my experience. So they also updated this event to where instead of getting two of these little ticket things, you would get five. And every 25 is literally a summon. And they also like decreased how much of C rank you would get because the last one was like 200 and it was like pretty damn long. So I'm happy that they uh, kind of shortened it because it was like really annoying to try and get up, get through all of it. But this one seems like it's going to be the same amount. It's just like kind of reduced in a way. All right, let's go. Uh, whoops. I did get out of that for no reason, huh? Because we need to do the last one. Now, what was this event? Was it like... Okay, it was fire units. Yeah, I definitely gotta change you out. Sorry, Necroid. You may be good right now, but... You taking that much damage is gonna be... Pretty pointless to keep you in. We didn't lose too much combat score, and I don't think we need, like, too much. I do want this character. This archer. She seems like she'll be fun. And I would love to try, like, a whole, like, chill team. Whoops. not use that. Okay, we're going to start with this. Okay. 
よは神霊を阻して皆様を守ります Oh, there goes my shield. There's a heal. I'm going to take off the auto for this. She's gonna, this shoe's gonna do something next. If I was using Necroid, he probably would have been dead by now. That's exactly what we needed. Now we can go into this. Hopefully, he attacks the right one. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and heal. I actually gotta just do attack down. I'm gonna skip ahead. There we go. And there we go. Actually, she was doing pretty good. It's just that I need to increase that shield. Like, the damage doing to all doesn't do too much just because it's more of like a, you know, just debuff ability. It's not supposed to be made for damage. So I would probably increase the shields first from what I see. Noted. You stuff from the gotcha box. What's this? Oh, yeah, these are all my rewards from doing that stuff. All right, we already know who we're gonna get because we need to get him up and ready for Fafnir. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for another, like, SR to work on. That's weird. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I was sitting here wondering, like, where did my second one go? I don't know. Did it crash? Uh, it yeah, probably crashed. All right. We're back. Finally. But. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The game still does have, like, crashing issues from when I realized. Unfortunately, it still does. They haven't fixed anything about, like, latency and crashing. So that's something I'm kind of concerned about right now. Lag is a major issue right now. I have a reason to use this now. Well, good thing I have a whole bunch of lights, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Crap some lights. Mm -hmm. 
ました。ナイスナイスナイスナイスナイス。Oops。Yeah, I gotta put this back up here. Cool. All right, that's pretty much it. But I know everything I want to work on right now for myself. Thankfully. Overall, this is pretty much all I have right now. I'm going to max out like every single character that is SR to the point where if I get an SR, I could just dismantle it and just get those、uh, little skill point things. That's at least my mission. You know, you never know if a character could be like extremely useful in the future or if they have like the characters, those events to, where if you use this certain character, you get bonus points and stuff like that. You never know. So that's why you should be prepared for whatever event comes by. I doubt they're going to have something like that, but it's still great to do because you still got tasks. Make as many characters as you can to max level because task is also important. Just because, let's say, oh, this looks nice, but what if I don't have the light units for it? And look, I have all the light units for it. Most of the time, they will ask for five all, or probably something less. This is why you need to make multiple characters. Most of them will be asking for SR and up, and it's important. Some of them will be asking for females, some of them will be asking for males, some of them will be asking for level 30s and up. You never know if it can actually like evolve higher than that. And it gets more complicated with more rewards. So keep that in mind. But, guys, with that said, I'm going to be ending off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.